I'm gonna plug it in and then I'm gonna run you through all the programming settings. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to Fahrenheit before we go any further. And that's gonna be code 231. And then now unit, up key unit, set up set now we're in Fahrenheit okay so now we're gonna go through the programming and this is a two-door freezer with electric defrost first thing we have to do is hold up and down key hit the set key type in code one two three okay now this is the little book that they give you and what I do is I actually look through eat, look through all the settings and I mark down what settings are to this particular controller for this installation and I just leave it with the unit in case another technician works on it in the future so they have access so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to FO2 and FO2 is our differential so we're gonna do a differential of about six so we don't get a lot of cycling of the compressor and our next is going to be our minimum set point allowed to the end user it's going to be four and this is the minimum we want anybody to be able to set this controller to without going into the setting so we'll say minus 15 and now our maximum set point allowed to the end user is five function five and we're going to say, make this 45 degrees, just in case. Okay, so our next setting is going to be our refrigeration time. So with these controllers, our refrigeration time and our defrost time are separate, uh, separated. It's not like a 24-hour revolving clock where it's hour dependent. It's actually... <clears throat> it's actually separate so you can run you can run 10 minutes of defrost and 20 minutes of refrigeration or you can run 400 minutes of refrigeration and five minutes of defrost you can pretty much make any combination you want and now our next setting is going to be this is nine this is the compressor delay we don't want any delay 10 is going to be compressor delay after off cycle so we're just going to move on to the settings that really matter. And next is going to be F11, which is compressor status with detached sensor. So what this means is when that sensor gets cut or the sensor goes bad, what do you want the unit to do? You want the unit to turn the compressor on all the time to save the food and possibly damage the compressor, or do you want the compressor to stay off and throw the food away. So I'll, I'll opt for zero, which means throw the food away and save the compressor, which is probably more expensive. Uh, the next setting is gonna be F13, which is evaporator temperature for end of defrost. So what this means is, this is the temperature during the defrost cycle, this is the temperature that that coil is gonna get to to determine the end of the defrost cycle. So usually we do about we do about 90 degrees which keeps the, keeps that keeps that uh, coil nice and clean. No ice anywhere, not even in the corners. So like that. Our next setting is going to be F14, which is the maximum time we want the defrost to run even if the controller never sees that evaporator temperature get to the set point. So regardless of evaporator temperature, this is the maximum time that this defrost would ever run if it's not temperature terminated. So 60 minutes. Our next setting is F15, which is fan turned on during the defrost cycle. And that's definitely a no because we're using electric heat. Even if we weren't using electric heat, we don't want that fan running during the defrost cycle. F16 is going to be the defrost type and it is zero for electric, one for hot gas. Ours is electric, it's zero. 
Almost done. A few more settings. So F17 is lock temperature indication during defrost. And what that means is, it's F17. What that means is, it will display the last known temperature of the box before it hit the defrost cycle. And I'm just going to leave that at zero, which is just display the actual temperature. F18, our draining time after the defrost cycle is ended. So this is the time between when the defrost cycle ends and when the refrigeration cycle starts. So we'll do that five minutes. F20 is gonna be a maximum time of fan return after draining, so a fan delay. So we'll leave that at one minute, that wasn't really important. F21 is gonna be fan on with compressor off refrigeration cycle, so we want fan on with compressor off. We don't want the fan on if the compressor's off. So that's gonna be zero. And then next is F22 fan stop for high temperature and evaporator. This is the temperature when the fan is gonna stop in the evaporator. So I'm actually gonna turn this down to about 15 degrees or 20 degrees. So once that evaporator coil temperature gets up to 20, the fans are going to stop and that keeps the coil nice and cold, that keeps the compressor cooled with refrigerant which saves the life of the, the compressor. And then we just hold that when we're done, and hold that set key till we see those three dashes and we are all done.